everyone, welcome back to the Chopper Fit channel. My name is Brett, and we make the motorcycle related videos and the motorcycle vlogs here on the channel. Oh man, today, guys, I might have found the cure for what's been ailing the V Rod. This is the way. So, today, I want to talk about just some of the back to basics things of being a motor vlogger, but first. As you guys have probably seen a few videos ago, I had a little hiccup with the V-Rod where the power cut out for a second. Well, I thought it was a fluke and then it happened another time where it killed the power completely on me and my wife. And then again, as I was riding, yet it, it turned itself back on kind of like the first time. I uh, did some investigating, posted a video on the V-Rod forum on Facebook. And the first reply was check your crank position sensor. What I did today was I followed that sensor from the engine block or transmission, whatever it's you know tied to, and it connects up here into the side covers, I guess is what they call these. And inside the side cover, I found this cable it has a ground connected to it. And that ground cable was loose so much so that I could turn the nut by hand. So what I had to do was I had to get on the bike and go test it out. <laughs> but that kind of ties into some of what I want to get back to maybe a little bit more with the channel. I know I've kind of gotten a little review happy which Someone kind of called me out on it the other day. I'm not mad at them or, or anything. It's basically, it was a result of the situation I was in where I gathered a lot of stuff over the winter time and it made for easy videos out the gate to go ahead and start getting those reviewed. I tried to do a mixture of on the bike reviews and in the garage stuff. So, you know, if the content isn't what you were expecting or used to, I do apologize. I'm sorry. But at the same time, I need to also feed my creative side. And when I say feed my creative side, me doing a standard motor vlog such as this doesn't always feed into that. Jack Link's Jerky, feed your wild side. Most of the time, these are very easy episodes for me to make where I hop on the bike, talk for a few minutes, go back, cut out all my pauses and ums, throw in a few silly clips, and bada bing, bada boom, that's all she wrote, really. That's why I've been trying to do some other different things, and I do realize that most of them have been related to products and product reviews. As of this point in time, I am not sponsored or affiliated with anybody as of the time of me recording this. I'm working on some things, but I haven't quite finalized those yet. But I only bring that up because, you know, I paid my good hard earned money towards those products and if I felt there was something that needed to be reviewed or called out you know I didn't want everyone else to waste their money on these products I wanted them to make sure that they spend their harder money on what they really need to do if you get long-term payments but you need cash now so that's why I had a few videos about the Roar Rock helmets these helmets, according to the comments, are definitely not for everybody, and that's totally cool. Just because you don't rock the same kind of helmet I am doesn't think I think lesser of you. Other guys rock Showy, HJC, I rock. All those helmets are cool in my book. I would own all of them. Actually, I own, I mean, I own some Showies, obviously. Um, I never had an HJC, but my dad has one, and he's quite fond of it, actually. So that's the reason why I had some product placement videos out there. So trust me, I wasn't getting a kickback or anything on them even though that's another thing that youtube has kind of struck a chord with me on is on the episode where i revealed the v-rod i noticed they've been putting advertisements up on it lately it's been only that video and i don't know why it's been only that video but they've been doing it and i don't like it but back to the basics i do like being able to moto vlog like I said, it's not something that challenges me creatively, but just because it doesn't challenge me doesn't mean I don't enjoy it, I guess is what I'm trying to get a point across with. I think everyone just kind of has their own style and their own niche as far as what they want to do, and 
you know, that's why I also value the, the comment section that you guys leave below. Because for me, I didn't really realize that I had been pushing so many products. And when I say push, I mean review or go over. You know, it was nice that that guy actually did say, hey, you're becoming more commercial and you're becoming less like a moto vlog. I, you know, all I can say is thank you to that because when I went back and looked at my, you know, last 10 videos, probably over half of them were product videos. I don't necessarily want to alienate anyone because I'm doing something different. I just hope that they would understand that what I'm trying to do is grow the channel and not get into a rut of the same old, same old. So to the dude who posted that, hey, no hard feelings. I do appreciate the feedback. That's what the point of this video is about is to say I am open to feedback and criticism, whether it be good or bad. I will try to reply to you. Uh, my dad noticed I replied to that one at 1 a.m. last night. So I do take those to heart and I do thank everyone who does give me the support and the comments and the likes. I do appreciate it. Uh, but with that being said here though, I think we have got everything that we needed. But with that being said though, as always, I will catch you guys on the next dark side as this is the way. Chop foot see you on the next one. Later.